Hello everyone, this is Styles RJ. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of a um, chip I was making in STL, Master Than Light. And, um, it's an interesting ship I've created. It's called Santa's Flagship. It's um, for the Christmas season, of course. As you can see, it's got the green and red, mostly green. And you notice it has no crew. This is intentional. So the ship has no crew, it becomes an automated ship and therefore it had a whole bunch of new advantages associated to it. Right. The ship also comes with, all the, with a whole bunch of other systems. And, you know, teleporter, cloaking, battery, mind control, and hacking. I'm not very good at micromanagement, so you'll hardly see, me, see the battery being used. So, if you have any complaints, well, too bad. I'm sorry, I don't like using the battery. Okay? But it's in there, though, for the advanced players. Anyway, it's also got some unique ornaments called Christmas Presents. A mysterious yet valuable package labelled to one of your crew, should you open it up. I mean, you could ruin Christmas that way. And Santa's Helpers, this is how you get your crew. I've made a whole bunch of events which you can assign yourself a crew. You can go with a basic crew of a whole bunch of... Or you can go for a random crew, you can go for Santa's Helpers, or you can try stuff from my fan fiction, but honestly... That's a shameless promotion of it. But, anyway, I'm going to play on normal because I've got also a unique twist of this ship. You can make it overpowered. You know the story. Data Vitals of Federation Fleet. Got to get to the other end of the galaxy. But we have a whole bunch of choices. Like, ooh, that's appropriate. Hidden choices. Because our ship has Christmas presents and the crew augment, we can pick a team. Be Santa. Santa Claus himself comes aboard the ship. Ho, ho, ho! He laughs. Oh, where are my little helpers? Okay, that was a worse Santa accent ever. Well, we don't want to disappoint Santa, so... Oh, by the way, I should use um, Gen Cool's um, graphics mod with this thing to make it crystal look like Santa, but... A little bit... Oh, he just starts mad. Santa's elves. Santa's head elf comes aboard, a guy named Billy, Bobby, and Ricky. Because, why not? <laughs> I mean, he's so fine, he's so fine, he blows your mind, hey Ricky. Okay, it's Mickey, but look, what do you want me to work with here? Let's let him wrap some presents. Santa's helpers gather around the cargo bay where the presents are being kept. There are several boxes wrapped in some neat little bow. It's a neat little bow. Each dressed to a little boy or girl across the galaxy. Each box is labeled, do not open until Xmas. But Santa says that Christmas may have to come early if he doesn't stop the rebels from ruining it. Immediately available in the huge pile of presents is a box labeled for one of the crew. Which one gets to unwrap it? We can choose not to unwrap them and let keep them sealed. But that means you get nothing. You have to work with the crew you got. There's also a box that says overpower with skulls and crossbones on the side. Let's also see what other presents are available. Planet flies and stuff with the Lanius and the rocks. I'll, be, I'll make a whole bunch of I'll make a whole bunch of events for this but for the moment. We only have a very few. There's one for the mantis, one for the humans, and there's also this overpowered one. Santa personally opens a package of feels wide and sealed. It's his special firepower. Look like a Vulcan, it's called the Gatelmeister. There's also another one. And another one called an Ionmeister. Now, be careful, if you keep hitting one. Yeah. La 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 You get trolled. And this happens. When you unpause the game. You lose the ship. Don't keep hitting one. It's important. Alright. Let's do that again. Now, let's be careful. And oh, whoops! Okay, that one's deliberate. I just love those gibs. Okay, and let's go. You power the secret weapons and you get a pre-igniter. Alright, let's assign some people. Okay, let's see. Ricky. Now, I like to I value a whole bunch of things. For example, Billy will go on engines. Second crew member always goes on engines. Then I prioritize weapons over shields. 
shield sure takes a while to load to level up, but this is how I play the game. I prioritize weapons a lot. Anyway, let's go jump to the first part. No, we should be stuck in the inlands. Ooh, a pirate. Yep, we have a pre-igniter. Now here's the interesting thing about the, um... Weapons. Look at that! How festive. Oh, they're trying to escape? Too late. Yeah. A lot of those projectiles, though, are, are actually fake. Well, I'm not sure how I set them. I mean, I've been testing out other parts of the mod rather than the, um... Oh, I oh, should mention there's a part of an ambush going on, but... Anyway... I'll show you the gas will buy some ion ones. As you can see, they... very good in color. Like they all do damage. By the time... Oh, crap, there's my drone to fall on fire. Put some biscuit at the station. I skip through a lot of these events very quickly. Okay, it's just what I do. I've played this game for a while and. Oh, let's go search for the rebel ship. Uh, okay. Oh. Anytime it's calling for. So the red sense the shields. She also have a power to upgrade the shields. What's up with that? Oh, can't explore an asteroid field. Nothing. Damn. Much. Go back now. Yeah, the guns still firing. Now, the interesting thing about the guns is that they actually have a breach chance. A very small breach chance, but. Like that. Supposed to have two options with these guns. The other one is to take down everything else in the ship, so the boy wants to catch the fruit on the ship. The other one is to stun everything from the ferry all the time. No worries about the crew getting back to the ferry. The hull is there. They're going to be the entire ship. Oh, the ferry is going to be the entire ship. Presence sell for a lot. 
Now, because this is an automated ship, you can't buy crew, you can only get it through events. So, unfortunately, you're stuck with the crew. carrying around a small amount of scrap either. I'd like to keep at least four so in case it counts the random event where you get translator. Translator. Man, I wish I could buy more lanyards. At least buy one. Lanyards crew are useful, they can suck the oxygen out of rooms. Sorry I'm just rushing through all this, I mean... It's just... <laughs> Ha <laughs> Take that. Rebel scum. Yes. We are definitely good people. Why about the process? Nah. I don't want to. I don't need any organs. This ship is everything I need. Let's down let the I love the um, abandoned sector song. Do you require assistance? No. Nicely and no. Surrender? No, I can't say. No. Well, good thing I know how to open doors. Unlike some people. I'm not gonna name names like soap. <laughs> Yeah, 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 mind control. So you try and get out of that one? No, you can't. Mind control. Oh, you're yeah, following up some other videos and they and do stuff like throwing oxygen out of a room. Sets the uh, projectiles to spread. When you make a weapon, there's a whole bunch of types you can have. Okay, yep, 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 always use that to fix satellite. When you make a um, weapon, there's several different types. Stuff like the flak gun counts the burst weapon. Now, a burst weapon means when it fires, it goes into the spread. So that means if you set something to fire two shots, and it's got like 20 projectiles to it. It's rather big, somewhat complicated. Engine home walls over engine control. But if you have it set to a large spread, the gun shoots out a lot of projectiles. And in the first shot, it'll shoot out a lot of project. It'll shoot out a lot of bullets. Then it'll shoot out one big blast. Let's see, clone bay. It's not like a 
Beam teleport. Okay. Uh, the Zoltan Shield Bypass is useful though, but um, get a scrap short. Don't want to sell anything. Oh well. Shield Bypass is useful. Options don't even read them very well. Ooh, man's a ship. <laughs> die. Oh, God, die. There we are. Ooh, another NG. I don't really have a use for this guy. I could move Santa or Kringle. Once I get it, let's go, yep, that's free scrap. Ooh, heavy oil, free scrap. For example, when you start with the Manta ship, or the crystal ships, it starts off with, like, you know, free scrap. 40 extra scrap. <laughs> You're not escaping. You're not escaping that easy. You're going to burn. I should have reduced the power of the mind control, but this guy's gonna Ever to die. No. The guns, they've stopped. Yes. More shields. Ah. I don't normally upgrade cloaking and piloting. This ship's automated. Watch this, I can take the pilot off. Nothing changes. The ship can run without a crew, so if they all die off, Making this mod, the thing uses an empty beacon system, or it uses some kind of system, and this is what happens when you go to a civilian sector. Pillars of Santa Claus coming to the galaxy. You need to go from sector to sector, spreading Christmas joy at each beacon. But you better watch out; those naughty rebels are pursuing you like a Grinch. And um, it's supposed to bring up the—it's not supposed to bring up these events, but it always happens in these civilian sectors. But Anyway, so let's ignore it. Never was there. Do not open till Xmas. All that stuff. All that crazy stuff. Red sensors. Ah, right there in front of some stores. Gotta stop doing that. No. No, and your weapons suck. <laughs> Yes, when I base the layout, I base the layout of the ship exactly from the Rebel flagship. So that means all the artillery roofs are in the exact positions of the artillery roofs on the Rebel ship. Except, as well as other flagship mod, and how they actually designed it was these really ISO airlocks. So I've copied the same idea. Airlocks in front, so everyone dies. Yep, 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 store stuff. Just gonna sell the rest. 
respirators because they can wait. Is that all? Oh wait, yes, I, now I remember I bought it. I didn't do that, I was buying augment, realize it sucks, and then move on. <sighs> it's got a cloaking device. Hate cloaking devices. Especially when level 3, I can't find a cloak. It won't take that long. Yes. Woohoo! Yeah. That's what happens. Destroy stuff. Stuff gets blown up. No, I should've went to the store. Beat the pursuing rebel fleet, investigate. You can never get... There's never a good outcome from this. Unless if you try and bring them on board. This one in the cabin's edition. They, they add a positive option to that one. Hooray! My luck paid off and I got an NG, but... I don't need NG, I need this boarding crew. My boarding crew. Ah, quarantine level 5. I don't care. Give them the fuel, move. Reloader was not that great. I mean, it's useful, but at the same time, no, I'm not doing that quick. At the same time, the guns fire fast enough already. It's pretty it's something of interest. Yep, my control that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right, a mantis. Matt's the mantis, who's not skilled with anything. You're going to be Santa's helper. An asteroid field. Didn't do anything for this one. I like to think the scout ship prioritizes you over um, dodging asteroid beforehand. That's why it has no shield and an asteroid belt. Rather stupid design, but they're robots. What do you expect from an automated ship? Artificial intelligence? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, it seems rebels are caught up. They're probably deploying an ASB. That's okay. Control. And... <laughs> into firing range. <laughs> rock home oh rock home walls. Rock home walls indeed. Because you might get lucky. And you'll encounter Crystal Sector. Yes, it's not much of a secret. I want to say hey, Crystal Sector. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil the crystals. Don't spoil them. But look, honestly. Snape kills Dumbledore. That's what I say. Oh, I'm gonna fall Harry Potter for you. We've been for a very long time. No empty elf. Crystal is not much of a secret. Okay, everyone always asks, how do you get the Crystal Cruiser? Incidentally, I got that one. My first try on the iPad. First rock ship. Ugh, another cloaking device. Uh, should have mind controlled someone. No, it's not too late. Yes! Turn to your ship. I forgot I could do that. Yep, yeah, I'm doing a lot of a lot of mistakes, but this is an overpowered ship. Nothing can really go wrong from this. Ship. Ah. That's okay. You can just stay in the shield in case we need repairs. Yeah. That chance that you're gonna jump on the ship. Here they come. 
never really go for level 4 shields. I'm one of those people who prefer evasion over pretty much everything else. 45%. 45% evasion. So you try and dodge that. Well, yep. Okay. Rock out today. Bells. Oh. That's all right. You can, just, you can just mind control, oh mind control you, and you fight to the death. I'd probably say some battle music, but I love the song. has it in for your air supply. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Crystal sector. Ooh. Come on, Santa. Let's... Let's jingle those bells. Prepare to meet your maker. He says, well... No. I can get some of those ion projectiles are actually fakes. That's okay. The ship is meant to just be it's meant to be pretty and destructive. Anything interesting? No. Except for the heavy crystal but and a Vulcan, but we don't need that stuff. We don't need weapons. We don't need any guns. We've got the Gattelmeisters. Gattelmeisters and um, Santa. We have Christmas on our side. And that's all you need is Christmas. Hmm. They've certainly jumped ahead. They're not really, they're not going to stop Christmas. You're not going to stop Christmas at all. Because we are the Federation. And we love Christmas. We all love Christmas. Happy holidays, rebels. And... Well, some more upgrades, which we don't actually need. But let's just throw in stuff. Ooh, I think stuff is slowing down. That's a significant drop frame rate. Maybe this video is getting too big. Perhaps does that it records large files. But I tried another program, I can't remember what it was called, but that was even worse. They're all saying better than perhaps, better than perhaps. Like so far it's only any better than perhaps. Merry Christmas crystals. Or it'll be crystal mess. Who cares? Yay! Crystal Vengeance. <laughs> More like free scrap. Forty scrap. Free. Oh great, a cloak of device. Well, it's gonna be ten seconds and... Jeez. 
This is the way to go. Is to jump in to that side of the ship. Okay, maybe I should have done that. Yeah. You're not closing your ship around me. Another crystal! Let's put him on the ship. And we have enough time for two more jumps, I guess. Although it doesn't matter too much because, after all, the ship is overpowered. Travel stick over the exit. Jump. Take him out. Me. No. I think it's enough of your surrenders one day. Just threading the needle there. Just threading the needle. Scraps on the debris. Oh, that event pops up. It turns out there's a virus of some sort. Oh, and an abandoned sector. I'm going to stop recording here for the moment and see what's going on. Okay. Signing off uh, now. Okay, and now I'm back. Let's see. Our ship's still the same. It's still that. Uh, we're gonna throw some stuff in drones. Not like we need any of that. Teleporter upgrade. Okay, get rid of stuff in drones. I'll upgrade pilot to maximum. Just see how it goes. Okay, it's an abandoned sector. Let's check out the store, get rid of some stuff we don't need, like this combat drone. Let's take a pick up an autom- oh, man. Maybe we should pick up these Lanius. Would you pick up the Lanius? They're made of metal, they're pretty heavy. Uh, yeah. Hey, Rebels, guess what? Your cause. Gonna have to deal with that. Ha ha, take that. And all this. No, we won't take your surrender. Because you're now dead. Now, I've changed the volumes around a bit. Remotely scan the ship, let's access. Yep. Let's see if we can pick up translator. Come on. Uh, boarding event. Haha. <laughs> Guess what? You're gonna be stuck in here. <laughs> Sadly, you're all going to die going to die horribly. I mean, if you were, if you were nice people and said, hey, can you please, well, can we please join your crew? You'd be like, okay, sure, I've got a bunch of, I've got a whole bunch of useless NG. I'm not using. I'm not use, we can have them replaced. Oh, I have got the translation device. For example, I'll get rid of Maxim. Who is the weakest link? It was Maxim. Goodbye. Oh, uh, maybe I should translate it somewhere else, like not in the room of all the boarding team. But you know, Lanius. What can you do with the Lanius? Advanced sensors. Ooh! Draw scrap. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh, this is gonna be good. You're all gonna die. Nothing to do about it. Another thing is that these fake projectiles are also good at stopping other real projectiles. They still count as an opposite would be hit. Alright, give me an, a weapon, I can kill that. Thing I just do that I say hey you gonna give me stuff? Good. You know, scrap you're originally gonna offer me. Hopefully. More oh, wreckage to scan. Oh I have some time for two more jumps. I don't need immediately to go to the next sector. And despite the fact that I have no power chip I can easily solve the problems. 
flagship. I still like to explore the sectors a little bit. Just how I have it. Oh, that, that, that missile, what did you just say? Come on, yes! And next, find the ship. Oh, oops. No, I'm gonna find the cloak. I'm not afraid of that. Pink five year cloaks. And I'll have to fight Lanius here. Come on, translator. Come on, translator. Beat him up. something as, as you know pirates usually are there's a kind of space madness to them and looks like the sector's being overrun that's okay again overpowered your ship control let's Nebula. I never go for the nebulas unless I have no other choice. Okay, nebulae. They might be useful for exploration, but you might encounter a plasma storm. I can finally get through those respirators. Get a reloader. <laughs> you want to reignite a stack. But we pre-ignited it. Ah, beacons. Come on, I want to fight. Oh god, damn it! Another five-year cloak. Well, you know, been back in five years, and it's gonna charge up everything. The problem with the five-year cloak is that everything can miss. And I'm going to the kill! Yeah. Why is my oxygen at that much? That high? We don't need oxygen that high. We're just like breathing it. Oh no! I lost Martin! Oh, that's okay. Clone Bay. They brought him back. He probably all like, well, this unit probably doesn't want to. This unit does not like fire. This unit affected by incendiary. Incendiary. That's it. Will not happen again. Shield down. Come on, snake eyes. Yeah. They never stood a chance. It's almost like it's cheating. Oh, wait a minute. This is cheating. Oh. Now here's the beauty of this ship. 
May not look like much, but she'll fool ya. Because I can just do this. Just stick. Yep. In fact, I would jump, but at the same time, I'm not going to. Bay. And true to my previous jump, we cloned, even as a rebel ship. That's right, the rebels are cloned mantises. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Sorry, Vanguard of Valor. I love it when you say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> Get out of my get off my ship. Yeah, get off my ship. I could let him go, but I don't need a bigger ship. Bigger guns. Yep, yeah, just throwing some useless upgrades. Let's attack these rebels. Yep, my control. Let him go. After all, this has got a whole bunch of drones. Come on, let's roll. Take that. And your stupid checkpoint. Okay. It's my duty to go to a check to a distress signal. Promise to help, NG. Okay, another distress signal. I'm just delaying, aren't I? Send the NG to calm down the infected. Just throws... Just throw more stuff in everywhere. My control. So, get off my ship. Yeah! No time to salvage, just gotta get out of there before the crew's open fire. But you know those big ships in the background. They might get ya. Wrong button. Wrong one. Yeah! Haha! Because there's breach of contact there. But no, I can't say that. Get out of here. Let's get out of here and get into some friendly territory. Yep, Admiral Tully says, hey guys, what's going on? Turtles like Intel suggests potential counter, whatever. Tully says, destroy the flagship. We're too we're too busy fighting other ships. And I'm all like, okay. Makes sense. We're the only ones who can do this. And all the rebels are dead. Move on. Let's see. Ooh, war zone, war zone, war zone. Mind control. Uh-huh. You're You're all gonna die. Upgrade. Here, no. Let's move on. Ooh, another one. And. Run the clone bay. Go around the air supply or mind control. I used to suggest a tactic where. If you suspect the enemy ship has a, um, like when the enemy ship attacks your ship, you activate, you deactivate mind control so the enemy can't hack it. But the thing is, if they hack mind control anyway, they'll... If they hack your mind control now, it doesn't matter. You'll still, still be under attack, but I 
the same time, you can, if, it, if your mind control does get hacked, you can divert the power elsewhere. You can think in that case, you can let it the battery. Yes. That rebel disrupt zone got disrupted. Now it's time to take on the flagship. Let's see what's going on. Oh no, they hit door controls. Okay, not too bad. Now, interesting thing I actually found out. It was automated ship. The sensor is no longer disabled. An automated ship. Okay. 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 Well, what I found out is that the sensors automatically. Like the ship, the rebel flagship normally takes out your level three sensors, so you can't get know how fast the weapons are going to charge. Being a ship is automated. It works rather differently. So, you have full co sensor coverage. And now, this rebel flag is dying. Okay, get out of there. No chance to survive. Make your time. On. Yes. Oh, missile probably hit. <laughs> Hitting an off-screen ship. Santa's flagship, Kringle, Billy, Bobby, Ricky, Martin, Map, Marfan, and Translator. The Rebel flagship was destroyed, throwing the fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, this is my first video of commentary, so a lot needs to change. Uh, yep. Okay, and this is Stars RJ, signing off. Merry Christmas, everyone.